Send us a revival. Send us a revival, Lord. Renew in me the right spirit. Send us a revival. Send us a revival, Lord, and let it begin with me. thank y'all personally this is a here we go we I want to thank you personally uh, y'all kind of wearing on me and I say that to say it, it's like two Sundays like really stand out and like fate joke joke with y'all joke with me about it like you say y'all come and y'all go hug him he look mean and everything like that and then all y'all and all y'all come hugging on me and I'm like I don't want all y'all hugging on me. I'm like, I'm fine. Leave me alone. And then, uh, and then last week he says, uh, you know, pray. You know, I didn't lead last week. I could have, but I didn't. But he was like, y'all pray for Darren. You know, everybody go through stuff. And then I get all these text messages and stuff. And then. I get these text messages, like Cornell texts me, and I'm like, everybody else texts me. I gave them the little normal, I meant it, don't, don't trip. But meaning I got to little exercise my voice a little bit with this one here. He texts me, but um, it's good. Amen. Fellowship is good. Amen. And you'd be surprised Amen. how good fellowship is. Even when you are a person who really feels sometimes that you don't uh, need it or <laughs> prefer it. As I explained to the uh, Bible class this morning, I said, you see, I'm a, I'm a very introverted person. And, uh, only w and you say, well, how do you sing? I said, because I've been grown, I grew up singing. So this is like the only way I really am able to be extroverted. So when I leave here, from down here, I really get in my thing. But we've, we've gone through some stuff as a church and last year, and we starting off this, we've, we've started off this year as being, uh, being uh, I gave Cedric a Sunday. I gave Belinda a Sunday last year. And this Sunday... No, it ain't my Sunday. This Sunday is Shirley Jones Sunday. 
Shirley Jones Sunday. She has surgery on uh, Tuesday on her hip. But you see, y'all don't know my mother-in-law. As much as that might bother her, it's really that really ain't the real bothering part about it. The bothering part about it is who is uh, dealing and operating while she's recovering with the with the situation that's going on with her husband. You know, the family support and all that stuff like that. She's uh, she's a very selfless person, but very big-hearted regarding everyone else, and so. This Sunday, Shirley Jones Sunday, and so we just want to let you know, and I know that the congregation is going to fall right on in and support in a time when you need it the most, coming by the house and whatever. And so I'm going to do some songs today that I know will help her during this time, and so, um, I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever.
And for that I'm going to give you glory to God forever.
decided to ooh this part. See, sometimes we get in the way. I told the, uh, I had a meeting with the praise and worship team uh, that uh, sometimes that we're not real gatekeepers, or that we need to improve our gatekeeping. We're trying to get into the presence of the Lord this morning. And sometimes we even as priests of praise and worship stand in the way. This is a personal conviction. And that it's easy for me to be sad than it is for me to be happy. Because in being happy, I may look strange. And I don't want to look strange because I want to stay cool. But you see, sometimes some people just need to see the glory of the Lord and that's been placed in you. And so sometimes... Sometimes you just need to hear me say, Hallelujah! Y'all need to hear me say, The Lord has been good to me. Sometimes y'all need to see me jump around a little bit because God has been good. Why? Because if I don't do that, if I don't say that, then how is God being any different to me than he's being to you? But I'm here to let you know that God is a different God. And he works in us in different ways. And so I am on the forefront to saying no longer will I be that gatekeeper that keeps you from getting right close to the door but never to get in. I will no longer have that on my hands. And so if I need to because the song leads me to jump, from here on out I'm going to jump. If at the conclusion of the song I need to say hallelujah, I will say it because I recognize that you guys are going through something and I, we all are going through something. And so we, we, we got to just be in this thing together. This is part of my leveling up. Recognizing where we've been falling short and get on the boat and get on up there. Now I'm here to say again, God has been good. God has been great. God is beyond great. Beyond great. And, I, and, and, and see, that's why we own because see, we ain't got enough words to speak about the goodness of God. And we sit here and we try to find these words and actually these, these words keep us back. And so I just want you to meditate for the minute on the goodness of God. Mother-in-law, God is going to be good. He is good. He's gonna watch over you. Everybody gonna kick in. Carl ain't gonna have to worry about nothing. Latanya Berry not here. She lost her mother, our grandmother. My, my nephew back there, he on his road to recovery. And I'm just praying that he. Re the funny thing about that is, remember five years ago when I had that talk with you and I said, I pray, I wish that you messed around and entered and had to, went through what I went through so you can receive that revelation. So I pray that you receive that revelation. God has just been good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for all. You've blessed my family. Bless my family. You have blessed me. Thank you for I just want to say, even when I can say, thank you.
what kind of gatekeeper will you be? Amen. We talked about entering in the presence of the Lord this morning, but some people, when we go out to work, just need to meet the Lord. When you're at your job, what kind of gatekeeper will you be? Will you be that gatekeeper that that exists where they don't even know the Lord is presence in your life, or will you be that gatekeeper that not only enters them in, that lets them know that God is, but God is in your life. And see, that gatekeeper is not just restricted for, for those that are above 30. This gatekeeping, this gatekeeper is for those that is younger than 32. Simone, you a gatekeeper. Sydney, you a gatekeeper. Who's my other you? Where my Amber, you a gatekeeper. CJ Chelsea, you a gatekeeper. We are gatekeepers. Show, show me the way. Show me the way, way, sit down, down here, Lord, and I need your power. Show, show me the way. Anybody know? Anybody ain't got this thing figured out? Show. And you need the Lord to keep walking with you. Because if you have to walk on your own, sometimes instead of making a left turn, you're going to make a right turn. Sometimes instead of going forward, you're going to go backwards. And so we need the Lord to keep showing us the way. Keep holding our hands. Some of us in here as husbands don't necessarily know how to love our wives right. I'm going to say that again. Some of us as husbands don't know how to love our wives right. So, Lord, we need you to show me the way. Show me the way so I can love my wife right. Some of us wives don't know how to love our husbands right. So we need your help, Lord. Some of us are going through parenting and we ain't never been parents before. So we need the Lord. And I'm just asking for somebody in here who needs the Lord on their side. I'm just asking for somebody in here who needs the Lord to walk with them. Show me, show me the way. I want you to know that I'm your child. The 
show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, Lord, with you, I just want to walk right, I just want to talk right, I just want to love right, yeah. hey, oh. I just want to be right, and I need you to show, need you to show me, show It's Shelly Jones Sunday. Shelly Jones Sunday. You got a, you got a, you got a song. I didn't pick something that I thought you would like. Now you you got a song, huh? So I knew you was gonna do that. <laughs> but Shirley Jones came from me side, but that's where I met her at anyway. So, I couldn't do Shirley Jones without doing some East Side songs. <laughs> Y'all ready to let God do what he gonna do in your lives? I'm saying, are y'all ready to let God do what he going to do in your life? <clears throat> there is beyond the edge of blue a God from sins from human side. He tinted the skies with heavenly hue and framed the world with his great might. There is a God. There is a God. He is alive. He is alive. And we live. And we live. And we survive from the star God. Son upon a tree, a lie was willing there to give, and he from sin by sin been free, and never more with him could be. There is a God, he is alive, and if we live.
morning. He woke you up with brand new grace and mercy. Uh, a memory, East Side memory. Those who don't know, I used to catch the bus to East Side from DeWarty. It was only one reason. <laughs> and I'm telling you, Simone, Sydney, don't believe that lie. Love will make you do crazy things. <laughs> but that, that ain't the east side memory, though. I mean, that, that's a big east side memory. Don't get me wrong. But that east side memory, I catch the bus and I remember when Carl was at church in a white suit. He used to wear a white suit. And I did, for whatever reason, that just stuck in my head. That he, he would come to church in that white suit. And I used to, that's her daddy right there. All right, I got this. Mansion robe and crown. If you if you if you've been at church for a long time, you definitely know. And this is one of the songs that's been at East Side a long time. And so I'm gonna trade my earthly home for a better one, bright and fair. Christ left to prepare a mansion for children in the air. I'll join him in that land where tears no sorrow can be. We Oh, hey, I want a mansion 
Shirley Sunday, with the exception of one song, I think we are, I think that we are, it'd be impossible not to include this song, that, that we do it, because we serve a God of promise, we serve a God that is going, that said he would never leave or forsake you, serve a God that says he never sleeps or slumbers on our behalf. He spoke our name to ex into existence. This God has already given us the victory. So, to wear him out just a little bit more, Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind, victory today is mine. Oh, oh victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. on your feet. Let's, let's think about this. Victory. Mine. I say victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today. Victory today is mine. You got your part. I told Satan. I told Satan. You got to get behind. Get Love is love. Love is love. 
don't believe it yet. How about this? Joy is. Joy is. Joy is. Joy is. Victory is. Victory is 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 victory is